dear friends 469 days of war the presidential candidate robert kennedy junior has issued some statements which could be embarrassing for the conscious and liberal american citizens but of course not for the american imperialists and their political managers first he said that trump and biden deliberately inflamed us china relation by using taiwan next us played a major role in inciting russia to start special military operation since 90s and lastly conflict in ukraine is an artificial one fueled by us defense sector i have been saying these things but the question is in case he wins will he change the character of american imperialism now from the war zones interdiction shelling and counter shelling is huge from both the sides the russian military against ukrainians struck barkhivka and which shows that at least some part of this establishment is under ukraine and other regions includes torsky bogdanovka kupians liman donetsk kharson ukrainian military struck optinoe kriminaya zaporizhia and kharson were on many fronts using himers and even shadow cruise missiles drones they were successful in hitting two control units of russian military one ammunition depot one missile system and three artillery units they have also destroyed nova kakhovka dam due which more than 22 to 40000 populations are affected the american intelligence says that this was done by russian federation but the purpose doesn't look like that the russians will be doing that but let us wait and watch in south the ukrainian army has restarted after regrouping their offensive on many fronts like for example no donetsk they had withdrawn but they are again trying to recapture it in east on bakhmut front the ukrainians are continuing counter attacks on flanks barkhoka we have already talked though there are contradictory claims in north bakhmut where they have moved at least towards the forest belt adjacent to reservoir in southwest the ukrainian army is continuing attack on samolut area also towards klishchivka and probably planning to move up to jaitsov russian army is continuing its offense towards ovdivka marinka and donetsk front in adjacent region that is japurizia that is south ukraine the ukrainian army after regrouping have started reconnaissance in force especially between nipper and orekhov in north ukrainian military is continuing heavy shelling towards belgorod and kursk region in belgorod region itself they have launched more than 1500 shells and also using uavs of course artillery and mortars are continuing in kupians as per isw the ukrainian army carried out a limited offensive with six tanks but no gains and russian forces are continuing their ground offensive along swatov kriminaya line this is the general situation from the conflict area the deputy chairman of russian federation security council medvedev has said that ukraine has finally started their so called great counter offensive while making attack and successfully destroying kakhovka dam the effect of destruction of kakhovka hydroelectric power plant dam and adjacent areas is still to be seen but it got to be large in the meantime irgc of iran has shown new hypersonic ballistic missile called as fatah fatah means victory that brings an end to my today's presentation on russian ukrainian war 
But one thing again I will like to add as before that what do you think about this war? Is it going to escalate beyond the boundary of Ukraine? Towards Russia it has already started but how about rest of Europe? Thank you friends.